Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this video here I'll be reviewing this OBD2 diagnostic scan tool from Top Don. This is their RD Diog 600 Pro. A link to the scanner will be included in the video description. I did release a review on the previous version of the scanner about two years ago. This is their upgraded version so I look forward to going through all the interface and options of their new version. The biggest difference with this scanner and the previous version is that the upgraded version is now able to do a full system scan. This means instead of only scanning the engine, transmission, SRS, and ABS, it'll be able to scan those areas along with modules for the lights, SAS, fuel system, transmission, chassis, EPS, TPMS, and EPB. This is especially important on a lot of newer vehicles having much more electronics. Also, the upgraded version supports over 90 vehicles where the older version did not. Opening the box, I can see right away that the scanner has a case which I'm extremely happy about. I do find a lot of scanners only come in a box and that is really the only way to protect it when in storage. However, this case is a great upgrade. Once that case is opened, here is the scanner. Next is brief instructions. After that is a cable to connect to the OBD2 port and finally a charging cable. Now I have already went ahead and pre-started this. I did do the typical registration, updates and basic setup. Once started, we are greeted with the same interface as previously. This does have the same 5 inch screen as the previous version. This also has a touch screen and I'll be using this feature further on in the video. First going under the diagnostic, you can see a wide range of vehicles it does support. Again, as mentioned previously, this supports over 90 different vehicles. This covers all the markets such as Asian, European, and North American. Next, going over to the OBD2 function, this needs to be connected to the car. The same goes for the inspection and maintenance function. Down to the maintenance function, this opens up various options where we have bi-directional control over various areas such as the oil, throttle, EPB, steering, ABS, DPF, BMS, injectors, and TPMS. Clicking on one of these again will open up that option of all the vehicles covered. I just updated over a day ago and you can see there is three more updates released. Top Don does a good job of keeping everything up to date. Here you can see what has been updated. These are not mandatory and can be based on what vehicles you work on. They do provide two free years of upgrades. In the library we do have a DTC report guide where you can type in the code and based on your vehicle model this will give you some insight of what the problem is and how to repair it. This is a great feature to help with troubleshooting those problems. The next feature is the TSB or also known as the technical service bulletins. Again you can enter in the model of vehicle you have. You'll need to fill out all the details. Then select the area of the vehicle and you can see all the information pertaining to that area. Next is DLC location. Here we can fill in the information of the vehicle we are working on and this will show an image of where the diagnostic port is located. After that is the warning light library. Here you can click on each of the warning lights and it will show you what it looks like on your gauge cluster if it's illuminated. Vehicle coverage lookup is self-explanatory. Here you can see what vehicles are supported on the scan tool. The scan tool also has a built-in user manual where you can scroll through all the features. Quick support is support from Top Don for the scanner. They also have installed a Chrome internet browser. Once connected to Wi-Fi, you can search the internet to help troubleshoot any problems. You can even use this feature to go on YouTube and watch video tutorials on how to make a repair. Official support and official form is added to support from Top Don. Back to the main screen, clicking on Mall, this takes us to their online web store where we can purchase added features. Now for scanning a check engine light, here we can click on the OBD2 function and this will automatically scan for faults in the vehicle. Clicking on DTC option, we can see all the faults. This will be labeled as current, pending, or permanent.
clicking on the inspection and maintenance readiness. This is where we can check diagnostic trouble codes since they've been cleared or during a drive cycle. For live data, we can show values for the vehicle when it's running. This will scan various areas such as your throttle position, engine RPM, engine temperature, vehicle speed, air temperature, etc. This is a great way for helping troubleshoot any sensors. We can then show the information in a graph or chart form. The information has the option of being viewed in a graph separately or altogether. Here is Onboard Monitor. Component Test. This isn't always supported depending on the vehicle you're working on. For this I'm working on my 2010 BMW 335D. Vehicle Information. This is broken into two categories, which is Vehicle General Information and Vehicle Enhance Information. And finally is Vehicle Status. Then we can go into the protocol, and as you can see, this is broken up into different areas. Inspection and Maintenance. This is the same as previously shown, where it goes into two options, as you can see here. Clicking on battery voltage when connected to a vehicle, we can see a live chart here. Now going into the maintenance option, I'll go through one example where this has a bi-directional control. Next I'll click on throttle, and then I'll work my way through the menu, selecting my vehicle type and allowing it to scan. Here I'm able to increase the idle speed of the engine. This gives a minimum and maximum value range. Once the correct value is entered, follow the prompts and the idle speed will increase and then it can be set back to the factory settings. And finally is the diagnostic prompt. We can go into this menu and this does a full scan on the whole vehicle. It'll scan the VIN, that way it knows what make and model of vehicle we're working with and what modules are available to be scanned. Under Auto Scan, this may take a few minutes. Once those faults have been found, you can see they are shown here. I can then click on the areas where the faults are found and this will show the code along with the definition of that code. This data can also be logged and cleared as well. Under Hot Functions, we can select various areas such as what is found in the Maintenance section. Finally is the Vehicle Profile that shows the information of the vehicle. I was quite impressed with this area as it does give a full breakdown of the option list, which is nice to see. Overall, I have to say this is a great scanner. The improvements over the previous scanner is definitely a big help, especially when you get into more electronics with the newer vehicles. As I do mention with my previous OBD2 scanners, they are intended as an aid to help with repairs. They will not tell you exactly what is wrong with the vehicle. They will guide you in the right direction, help you troubleshoot different areas, and allow you to pinpoint that potential problem. The interface is very easy to use, there is plenty of options to help with diagnostics, and it's full of information so you're not having to constantly work between a manual or searching information online. Have you purchased this product in the past? Please be sure to share your experiences in the comments below. New videos are released every week on my channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me. And if you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.